Hey, what's going on guys? This is Hyperion Blue's GT Champion and now it's time to go on over to take a custom race in Gran Turismo Sport. So, looks like I'm about to go and start bringing out this new car in a new manufactured brand also appears in the first time here in GT Sport. But this car that I'm going to use is the De Tommaso Pantera. But this car is definitely a 1971 model because this is definitely quite very new to me. It looks like this is definitely brand new for us as well, but definitely it is part of a February 2018 update because this is definitely quite very good for it. And it looks like that this car is definitely an Italian sports car. Let's see how this track car can go because I might have to go for a spin. So, the De Tommaso Patera is definitely quite retro style hidden headlights. So I might have to say this is quite good for the Italian car because this is definitely quite most enjoyable. So I'm about to go and take on in in Autodrome Lago Magador East Reverse. So I might better have to say that I'm about to go and take on Sunset. So I might better have to be ready to take on maybe three consecutive rounds as usual. Because, but yeah, I kind of think that the, that the video link could also take until 60 minutes. I might better have to do this fast, folks, because. Live stream is definitely obsession for me. It was all because of the bad quality effect because of this gives me a hard time for it. So looks like I'm about to go and get started just taking some three laps for it. And what's other questions about this car because does this look good? to take on the track or this is definitely also appears because well definitely one car brand also appears in Gran Turismo Sport but not like all the other previous Gran Turismo games because this is kind of new to us but maybe this is gonna have to be a little bit more questions about this car because this is well Maybe I have no time for it. So, time for our reverse on Lago Magador and let's do this. Well, anyway, this this vehicle also appears in headlights because this is definitely much more similar like the Lancia Strato. Well, I see how the handling is definitely going ahead. Much more like the body style based on the Lotus Europa. But I kind of think that this car would have been cold to Bella by Ford. But I never believe this car definitely turns out very cool. But anyway, let's see how this 1970 car can do. A lot of these engines. I had to make sure because, well, I kind of think this one is going to be used for a little drifting handling to be a little bit used.
retro sports car just like the Ferrari 512BB but definitely this one also has the same headlights as, as well because well two hidden headlights was definitely much better than four headlights on the Ferrari Okay, well, finally got the rear mirror to keep an eye out. Let's give it a little dive in to slide it in for. Keep it steady and go and do it. Okay, how's, how's the rest of this going on so well? Maybe just taking a look on the rear mirror. What? Oh! Looks like that one is the stand chance for it. Taking on over the last turn. Ends at the... 90 degree angle. One home stretch over to the big three line. And talk about a little sharp post for us. Maybe I should start to keep an eye out on the gap distance. So looks like this might be the first win for using the, the Tomato Pantera because this is definitely quite OP at it. Well, differently, the others are different. Um, so well yeah I kind of think this is definitely brand new to us here in GT Sports so looks like earning summary is definitely going in and just gonna have to do some more daily workouts for now folks so let's see I'm about to go in Head on over to take Don to the next course because, well, I might say I might better go over to Blue Moon Bay in Field B. That'll be much shorter to see how it goes. Okay, time for a little daytime to get ready to start for the next day. But I know how my commentary is doing okay because well my voice is just having a little sore throat but I may not be sick because I'm just still doing okay well if I didn't feel so well probably I had to have my voice for taking a break or have a little drink of water so looks like it's time for a little infield fee on food day here we go, and time for a little standard starting grid. Well, probably this race is only used without popping up the headlight. And oh man, looks like another Pantera was definitely in it. Okay, looks like classic Japanese sports cars, older models, and definitely new models are also comes in for it. 
one big heck of a surprise for us to drive on the infield beach. Definitely much semi speedway short. I'll just make sure I won't crash for it. Just giving a little pull on break will help me out for it. Past the Audi R8 and Alpine A110 new model. Over on the cool touch. Okay, that looks quite very clever here for you. Well, probably only on daytime on clear distance because. Oh man. Yep, I had to be more careful. So I can pull the brake earlier, so I have to definitely use the key brake earlier for now, but just want to make sure that this is definitely a brand new car, but it's definitely an old model. Alright, now time for a little dive in turn. Oh! Okay. Definitely no scratches. I hope this, hope this old dog can probably go for it. Okay, wonderful. Final lap is going on the way, and same as usual. BMW crosses the lead. Only giving a little speed for it because that one does give him a little. Okay, looks like two can play this game. Kind of like the track on it on the new day because this is definitely quite much good in the oh, snap. Oh man. Well, kind of thing I just made a bad clumsy this turn. But so much for that one. Too. I just wanted to say, just drive carefully with each of the deep tomatoes. I know it's definitely, it was kind of a joyride for me to drive on this course. But not to worry, folks. I won't be able to do it again because this is quite having a little bit mistake. Second place earnings? Well, I'll take that as a go. Well, looks like this record is definitely 3 minutes and 23 seconds. Definitely right on the chart for it on second place. So I might say let's... I'm about to go over to take into the next course. So i never been going on over to the race on Willow Springs International Speedway because this is definitely been a while for driving this course since Gran Turismo 6. So let's just say test out on the big Willow to see how, how it goes. Alright, now we're ready to go to take on the big willow folks using the Pantera de Tommaso. Now, let's see how it goes to take three laps on this big white course. Okay, race number three going on and I'll make sure this is going to give it much more handling and speed.
keep keep on going. Just try not to get having some bumps for it. Well, anyway, century cars from like the 1970s does give a lot of good horsepower to kick things up a little bit to face up with the 90s and today's model. This is going well for for this early 70s sports car. Maybe for instance here for you. So, what is your favorite? Sports cars of the 1970s. Just give a little comment and talk about about this car, but definitely introduce the Grand Turismo. All right, pass on the SFR concept. Going on over to the second lap. Like I'm on second place. Almost there to reach it up to third and final lap. Alright, here we go and let's beat that expo into second place and this one will bring it into first. Alright, looks like this is going to be good for me to be in the lead. race folks 1970s won that race by a from a two-door Austrian sports bike man I can't believe it that was very close that I was gonna end up in second place man this is quite epic for this proportion for this segment all right looks like I finally got some earning summaries since I finally won but I kind of think this is going to be saving up here for the best part for it. But I wonder if I could probably have to take two laps on Auto Drummond National Monster 
for just having a little one last race. I'll, I'll give it a shot for it. Now, definitely this time, I'll be using the sh the no chicane version and make it much simple. All right, now it's time to get ready to go. One last race, two laps for only the best deal. I kind of think, let's see how speed can a Pantera can go because this is definitely going to be one big maximum top speed. See what that what it shows. Well, anyway, if you guys have already know about the most toppest speed in Gran Turismo or any other racing games. Alright, Monza no chicane. Here we go and let's get ready to go and take on some starting grid. Well, probably this is going to be the hard part go for Overtake all the cars before you reach first place. This might be getting a lot of easier. Okay, well, definitely the second you came with using the, the Tommaso, you could get a lot of difficult handling to do it. Well, it takes a little time to master it to use this car. But I guess besides, I kind of think I'm just trying to go and master it. Catching up on the KTM Expo and using a little bit draft. Oh. Almost tapped on the Aston Martin V8 and This is definitely quite very good to see how how this car can go up and gain a lot of most top speed. Because the last corner is definitely the right time to get ready for the best. I hope this is going to be one epic potion to do this. Well, this is the best part to go and grab a quarter half mile. Definitely like drag me. Whoa! By the looks of it, this car can also reach itself on the most top speed when you can fit your transmission. Well, that was standardly default for it. I kind of think this is maybe quite not bad for this model. Just giving it a little squeeze it in on the, on the inside.
Chrysler has to keep in the watchful eye on the BMW M4 whenever it gains a little too. One last stretch, and this Camacho Cadera is going to reach the first place on this new spotlight. Alright, looks like this is finally a good race. So, I guess this is going to be one big, excited wrap up for this race event, folks. We're using this car, so I'm finally in for in first place. But anyway, looks like 15,000 credits plus 150 more because this is going to be one big, good. 50% clean race bonus. Well, looks like this is the right time for going pick a card from the daily workout. I guess I just really want to see which vehicle should I get. Oh, looks like Lamborghini Huracan GT3. Well, that was definitely quite very good for us. Well, I've already had my own Hurricane with a Total Drama World Tour library, but this one is official, could be much good. I'll be keeping it. So, looks like time for a little small reward. Guess no longer purchasing on Rim Styles. So I kind of think I might be to go with the G1 Chrome. The L2 liquid, liquid metallic could be much very simple for simple price earnings as well. But that was good for it. Well, looks like the day Tommaso is definitely entered in Gran Turismo Sport for the first time. Well, definitely, this is only has to use with one car because this is definitely classic and retro style here in the 1970s. But definitely, the hidden headlights might be quite very good for it. It also shares the similarities like the Ferrari 512BB, but the Ferrari 512 has the twin hidden headlights of four, and the Pantera has hidden headlights of two ports well definitely left and right sides as well because this is definitely one big retro style supercar as well definitely this is gonna be used to be for N300 car so folks looks like I hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and don't forget to click like comment and subscribe on YouTube Check it out on appearingbluegtpro.dnetart.com and also there is my there is a second link on the description that is my very own wiki fandom. Feel free to welcome to take a look and anyway my stuff is definitely quite all belongs to me for it but this is definitely just doing this for under construction at all but anyway thanks for watching and have a great day and i'll see you guys next time to do some a lot of things to do catching up on in grand trismal sports thank you and have a great day